In the last video, I showed you the top view of Nairobi from the KCC, which is just right there. But today, it's different because today I'm just going to show you down here. Now we're just coming to the ground. You know, when you the the, the you know there's a saying in my country whereby when you go to the top, you have to come down. So that's what happening right now. So we went to the top. Now we're coming down, and this is the view of Nairobi from down here. And this is uh, Windy Bingo Street here in Nairobi. So I hope you're gonna like this video that I'm doing right now. So let's uh, continue just moving. And then I'm just gonna tell you several buildings that I might know from down here. So this is the Windy Bingo Street down here in Nairobi. It's one of uh, the busiest streets in the CBD. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the family bank I uh, hope you can see it and then I think this is this banks around me uh, this there's nothing so much to see here, but I think I don't know one of the buildings here, any of the buildings here, but I think you're gonna just like the view. <laughs> the view is just nice. So that's the high end hemp bank. <clears throat> and there's one of the famous places if you are a foreigner and you're wanting to come to Kenya and buy souvenirs his place this place is called uh, city market and it's here in the city and this is the view so this is the place it's called the city market um, the next video we're gonna go inside I saw a video of a guy who came to this market and it's not really a market but it's a mall whereby it's just more about souvenirs and uh, restaurants and butcheries and all those things but this is the view for Nairobi market city market so hope you like it and as I said I'm gonna do a video about this this city market and then I'm gonna show you because there's a lot of souvenirs actually I've never been inside but from what I saw from another video that someone else did is that we have a lot of stuff that are being sold inside and it's actually cheap okay it's not cheap for us as Kenyans but it's cheap for you as foreigners if you're using dollars if you're using runs if you're using CDs or any other currency that is stronger than Kenya because things that seem to be cheaper for using dollars they might be cheaper using Kenyan shillings is that right so someone tell me in the comment section if I'm, if I'm lying but anyway um, I just wanted to show you around this place I've seen a lot of videos from this place I've seen uh, Betty Cello doing a video here of an advert I've seen Miss Trudy here I've seen Watermeyer here I've seen um, a lot of just, just name them so it's a nice place to be so this is the high end bank Okay, so I'm not sure if I know these other buildings from down here, but I know them from the top. I could name them one by one, but now I can't. I don't know how, how this is happening. But anyway. Hope you like what you see uh, from this video. Um, it's just a normal walk. This is a normal video to see how Nairobi looks actually here at the CBD. So, right now I'm at the Kenyatta Avenue. And 
Bear me witness, Kenyans. Kenyans don't like following street lights, but here in the CBD you have to. Because if you don't, then you're gonna be knocked. And the street lights here at the CBD work, but on most of the places here in Nairobi, the street lights don't work. If I'm lying, tell me in the comment section. You know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not. If someone said I, I'm spreading hate about Kenya, but I'm not. I'm saying the truth, you know, talking about the truth so that people don't come to Kenya and think that I was lying. I want to tell the truth as it is on the ground. So, actually I don't know which street is this, but this is beautiful walking here. It's, it's one of the safest places in the CBD. And I saw that building, you know that building there? I don't know. I don't know the name of the building, but I could see it from the top of the tower when I was at the KICC, but now I cannot tell it. And people at the CBD, they're always relaxed. Not like the other places. Places people are just moving faster, faster, but this place, they just slow. <laughs> And we have a monument here I don't know who these guys are, but it looks like, I don't know, one of those fighters of the Harley days. If you know them, tell me in the comment section. I really don't know that. I don't want to lie. Where I don't know, I just tell the truth. Well, this feels so good just walking around Nairobi. Free, no one is disturbing you for the first time. I have no chaos in Nairobi. And this is because I'm in the CBD, I guess so. We're not yet done, so I might get chaos with the police telling me I'm not supposed to be vlogging here. So, but so far, so good. <laughs> oh. But I just like the way Nairobians now here, they don't move faster. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I know any other building, but I'm just walking around just telling you about this. And Who remembers that we did a video on a supermarket? Today we're doing another one. Just looking at the things, how expensive they are. And today we're looking at the households. This is uh, 150. I think this is a uh, bamboo track. Then we have dustbin. Good for 10,000 can shillings. Then this. Is uh, it's a mop that goes for mop bucket that goes for like five years. That's like six dollars. This is a beautiful tissue holder. A tissue holder for three eighty five, four dollars. Oh my goodness! Mortar pestle for three ninety. This is costing 390k shillings. This is beautiful, guys. I think I should buy this. I'm liking everything up here. Oh my goodness, it's just looking so good. All the things that I need in my house. <laughs> Lemon extravetta. Okay.
Bread is 120. Guys, do you remember the last video we started here? So that tells you the same sense of market. We have a quick mod. So the Indomil has dropped price. It's now 119 to 140. So remember last time it was 140 now it's 119. A little oil is going for 600. I see that one. That's a part of the chocolate donut. How are you, mother? You have brown bread. All sizes. And the chips. So I'm going to have choco donut. You know from Krispy Kreme we bought this on South African video but I want to try it from Kenya. So I bought bought this. So I'm just gonna try it as I walk around um, around here in Nairobi. So the reason why I bought this is because last time I tried a Krispy Kreme and it was so good. So I decided I should try this. We don't have Krispy Kreme in Kenya, but this looks like Krispy Kreme. So I'm gonna try this. It's called. Uh, Fresh choco donut, but it has so much resemblance with the uh, Krispy Kreme. Okay, so guys, it's time to try this. Look at this. So this is Krispy Kreme. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> the difference. Wait, let me get another bite. Mm. It's so good. Mm. 
So the difference between this and um, the Krispy Kreme, this doesn't get to where the Krispy Kreme can get. Krispy Kreme is softer on the down and it's like uh, a lot of sugar. This one is not much sugar like Krispy Kreme. Mm. This is so good. Mm. I think I should have bought two of this. Mm. Mm. I just like the chocolate topping. That's what made me buy it. So I went with another intention to the supermarket, but I came out with another intention of reviewing this when I saw it. It reminded me of Krispy Kreme. so good mm. I just love the way people just look at me they're like what is this guy doing just eating with a camera on this is just crazy you know but anyway this is the last bite Wow. The sugar is just melting on my mouth. That was so good. Thank you guys. I think so I think I'm about to end this video, but I'm not just gonna hand it that way. You know the moments when I switch from my camera that's when good stuff happens. So I'm not gonna switch it off. I'm just gonna continue moving all around and this is so busy straight. I'm afraid of my camera, so I'm just gonna I don't know. It's very busy down here. People are moving slow and it's packed. Just packed. So busy in the evening, just walking around here. Um, hope you guys are loving the video. I don't know. I've never done a video whereby I've not been in ground to show you or a goal to show you. But this one is all a random video just going around to see if anything will happen and show you how Nairobi is like in the evening when people are just coming from work. People are not as busy or going faster as they are supposed to be doing or the way I'm used to.
So right here is where we have National Archives and then there we have the ambassador for the people who don't know Nairobi well. I am very clear about this because a lot of people come to Nairobi and you're like go to the National Archives. I don't know if I was able to show you this from the top but this is a nice place. I think I'm not at the part of where Nairobi is not safe so I'm just gonna switch off my camera from this point I'm not now feeling safety uh, with my camera so just gonna switch off my camera thank you guys for, for watching thank you guys for being around I'm so grateful for always tuning in for the people who subscribe or like my videos even without asking you to it really means a lot to me okay so let me see you on the next one my name is Zioka goodbye Thank you.